beautiful money in terra firma. So, this is actually uh, like the typical regular US coin that you would have seen back in the day. And let's see what the year is on the 19. In 1969, when the uh, silver dollar was actually silver. But now the whole dollar is not, the one dollar coin is not silver anymore. I think it's like steel or something like that. Who cares? It's not, it doesn't have any value anyways. But uh, as you can see, the lawful money still has all their symbols and shit on it. Boom. Bald eagle. That's like one of their their birds or something because, you know, if you shoot a bald eagle, man, you'll go to prison forever, but the black Bengal tiger is extinct and nobody gives a shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You can tell what's what. And, you know, here's liberty. Liberty is for slaves. Prosperity is for sovereigns. And unalienable rights are for, uh, the true free ones underneath the almighty creator you could say unalienable is prosperity but free men and bond men are kind of one of the same like i think in many situations like creditor and indebtor and then there's people who don't play the game at all so very interesting and if anybody's watching i hereby waive my right to any contract that i had no valuable consideration on which is most of the contracts which means there's no contract but yeah, do you see that? All the symbols. Just pointing stars, and then there's that. And then there's a Latin that's going across it. And as you can see, that could obviously play a, a, a deceptive, you know, besides it being the weight. But look at that, you know. For those that just need to see it straight in their face. But, you know. There it is again. So, in a case like where uh, your Federal Reserve notes would be seized and you would owe interest, uh, if you had millions of dollars in this, they would just come and seize this. Because you're not supposed to hoard silver and gold since the seizure. Which means they owe you unlimited credit for the seizure of the gold, which puts you back into like dealing with fictional money. But not necessarily Federal Reserve notes because paper trail goes back to lawful money. So... It's very interesting little uh, roller coaster ride. Um, remember again, um, I think it was Thomas Anderson or Thomas Jefferson that said uh, it's better to live uh, dangerous freedoms than uh, comfortable slavery. And once again, that's nothing but the black and white deception because those dudes are nothing but, you know, they're on the the bad guy side they're perpetuating the central banks they're perpetuating all this stuff they themselves are presidents not making a change uh, Andrew Jackson claimed he killed the central bank but Andrew Jackson was also Freemason too in on the whole thing so that's just what it is you know what I mean like it's just the ultimate black and white deception that people just need to be aware of the duality of it traps you with good guys coming at you talking about let's fight and then the other guys talking about yo we're the bad guys so you know, it's just back and forth, back and forth. But, uh, yeah, so in this case, this would be like some light sun deception. You see here, I have lawful money, but it's still not lawful money. It's still got all this shit on it. So, once again, black and white. Stay awake.